Hello, my name is Chef Josh Korn from Paul Martin's American Bistro here in Roseville, California. And today we're going to be cooking a grilled artichoke for you on our live mesquite grill. These uh, particular artichokes are called Globe Artichokes and they come from Castroville, California. Certified organic and local and uh, very simply prepared on the grill here. What we do is we brush them with a little bit of olive oil, very lightly, and then a little sprinkle of some salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. Then we're going to place those right over a very hot grill. Again, here at the restaurant we use uh, mesquite charcoal, which enhances the food with a really nice charcoal flavor. And then we like to get the other side with a little bit of oil as well. A little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. Now pretty much the entire artichoke is edible. The stem, uh, the meat of the leaves, everything inside. All we've done is uh, cutting the artichoke in half and taking the choke out. Uh, before these hit the grill, what we do is we boil them in water, white wine, black peppercorns, bay leaf, salt, pepper, parsley, lots of aromatics, and that really pumps some flavor into the artichoke before we even get it onto the grill. So it's uh, really two layers of flavor here: the water from the uh, or the flavor from the boil, and then uh, the wonderful mesquite charcoal flavor here on the grill. So we're just going to let those go for a little bit. Now for making the sauce for the artichoke, which is a fresh basil pesto aioli. First, we're going to make the basil pesto from scratch. We have six ounces of some beautiful fresh picked basil leaves here, some Parmesan Reggiano, some roasted California walnuts, a little bit of chopped garlic, some olive oil, and some kosher salt. And it's, uh, that's everything right there. It's very simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the garlic. And here at the restaurant we use this RoboCoop. This is just a big fancy uh, version of what you probably have at home, a Cuisinart. Any food processor will work. As a matter of fact, you could even use a blender for this. Anything that'll really chop that basil up really fine. So into this food processor we've got the walnuts, the garlic, and our olive oil. What you want to do is make a quick paste out of that. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. And chop up the garlic and the walnuts real fine, blend it with the oil. Once you've got a pasty consistency like that, you can go ahead and put your basil, cheese, and salt. Lots and lots and lots of fresh basil. It takes a lot of basil to make a little bit of delicious pesto. So we'll go ahead and give that a quick blast. Uh, basil's getting chopped up and releasing all of its oils and uh, aromatics and essence. And then what you have here is a nice basil pesto. And what we do is we take that and we mix that with some mayonnaise and that's the finished product right there, pesto aioli sauce. Okay, so when the artichoke is just about done, you'll see you've got some really nice grill marks on there and some flavor. Artichoke's nice and soft now and ready to eat. We're going to take this to the plate. So we've already pre-warmed our plate. You always want to serve hot food on hot plates. It helps keep the, the uh, food, food warm for a little bit longer. Put our pesto aioli sauce right on the plate there. And to accompany that, we've got a grilled lemon half. Just a nice fresh sprig of parsley there. And there you have it, our grilled Castroville artichoke.